I think it's safe to say I found the ducks. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Hunter Rowe, Buck and Duck Outdoors, driving right now, heading to Indiana to go scout some creeks. I'm gonna hopefully be doing some duck hunting on. Got the kayak in the back that I just bought. Hopefully gonna be able to shoot a lot of ducks on it this year. Can't wait to show you all what I'm checking out. This is the duck hole that I just paddled back to in Indiana this morning. Um, I mean, I'm in some shallow water back here. We made it back to the hole that I was wanting to scout today for some early wood duck and teal hunting. Um, don't think I'm going to be able to get any geese in here. Be pretty tough just because it's uh, surrounded by trees. But for the wood ducks and teal, man, I think it's going to be lights out. So ideally, what I'd want to do is sit back in this shade uh, with the sun rising, you know, right behind me. When those ducks come in to be able in the shade like this you know it just tucks you in so much more especially if you're just hunting out of a kayak it's so muddy back in a lot of these pieces up here um, that i guess you could get back in there and do a little bit and get out of the kayak and actually hunt uh, but i prefer to try to sit in my kayak especially in little holes like this if i can but coming up on my next spot here so this is kind of what i'm looking at uh, potentially for some goose and ducks kind of get everything out here when you're on the main part of the creek it's just really quick moving, so we're gonna have to get on them when we shoot them or have a dog that's speedy. Drake better eat his protein shakes before we get out here, but just gonna keep checking out all these little flats where we can maybe put some uh, full body decoys as well as some in the uh, right in the stagnant water over here on the side. We have made it to another spot now. Um, again, I'm just out here scouting around in Indiana on some different creeks that I've kind of just looked up on Onyx. Just to see, you know, one thing have something to do with everything going on with coronavirus. Anything I can do to get out of the house. I um, love the outdoors, so why not go out here and make the most of it. But also use it as some scouting for some early season wood duck and teal. And then possibly even later in the year, probably have to do some scouting again towards November-ish, October, to really figure out if there's some mallards and other, um, you know, those puddle ducks using it. But it's super shallow. Super, super shallow. Only bad thing is, is that that water is moving pretty quickly. It makes it a little difficult to get those ducks after you shoot them. So, you know, you shoot one way out there, you gotta hop in the kayak pretty quickly to be able to get to them. So just go ahead and show you guys the kayak now. So this is the kayak that I bought a few weeks ago. 10 foot um, lifetime kayak, sit on top. I know a lot of people use a 12 footer when they're duck hunting, but if I'm gonna use this for multiple things, um, have multiple purposes for it, the 10 footer is really all I need. Um, I can put and customize a blind on here if I want to, or I can take this back to holes and get out and um, just kind of stay tucked up in some brush. Um, so there is some storage right here. So I got my backpack. I could probably fit a dozen decoys, maybe 18, um, if I got some wood ducks and teal in there as well. On the back, there's some rod holders, which are great for fishing. I love this seat. That is the, really the reason I bought this. Um, because it's not a super expensive kayak, but it's a sit on top, so you're never having to sit in water. And also, this comes off. You just flick those open, pop that out like that. So this seat actually comes all the way out, um, which is really neat. And then also, you know, you've got this deep hole right here. Well, it's a sit on top. It's not like you're just sitting straight on a paddle board or anything. It's just for if I want to bring some backpacks, and then I'm going to end up mounting some lights right here for when I'm duck hunting. I'm getting out at night. Yeah, man, that is the kayak. You're going to be seeing a whole lot more of her. Back in the sticks, baby, on a little piece of property that I think holds some ducks in the wintertime. It's nice just to be able to come out here on a Saturday and look for some ducks and look for some potential new spots if you're not seeing any ducks. Um, and I think this is going to hold a lot of it for early season as well as uh, you know, when those mallards really start migrating down here. So. We're gonna get up on it right now. All right. Looks like we found the spot, man. back here in some marshy area right now and holy cow I wish I could have got it all on camera there they go you can probably see those right there wood ducks and teal everywhere 
Oh, I found them. They're everywhere. Wish y'all could see them coming out of here. Should have brought my big camera and I would have had a blast. Getting some practice before the season started, but I'm just gonna see how far back up in this I can go. It's early season, boys. Gotta put in that grind. Gotta put in that work. There they go. There they go. <laughs> oh, this is gnarly. I think it's safe to say I found the ducks. Holy cow. Early season. If we can hunt this, there's ducks everywhere. I can't wait to see this footage. I hope that all, all of it came on, but there are ducks everywhere out here. Everywhere, baby. Let's go. All right, we got the solo scouting today for some ducks. Going on a little solo mission, trying this out um, up here in Indiana. It's August right now, so really just checking out the blue wing teal and wood ducks. Not gonna be a lot of mallards around, but man, did I find them. Land ho. Just made it back here, got the kayak up. Did exactly what I needed it to do. Got me to where the ducks are gonna be. Let's hope they're still there come opening morning of early season.